Hi Leo, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things in the description box. I have opened up personal readings, so details are below how to contact me. Also below how to enter for a free personal reading. So check that out if you like. And let's get, oh my gosh, your cards are already falling out here. Let's get started with your reading. I just want to say this is, uh, will you hear from your love interest? So this could be anybody that is on your mind, whether you know, you're know you dating this person, whether there's separation or uh, someone here too that you know, and maybe you're waiting for this person to ask you out. So let's see what else comes out here okay so your first card that came out is yes this is your soulmate and your second card here is chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so definitely feel right this is someone that you feel something you feel that chemistry with this person and it feels like this person feels the same way with you we'll see what what's going on here and I'm just going to say, if you hear any noise in the background, it's my puppy chewing on her bone. <laughs> okay, so um, just want to let you know if you don't hear any funny noises. <clears throat> All right, let's see what the main energies are here for Leo. Wow, your cards just want to pop out there. Look at that. The Ace of Cups popped out. Very first card. All right, so can be new love. Rekindle of love, right? Some sort of offer. Okay, we got the Eight of Vessels. Okay, that's the Eight of Cups energy. Not necessarily bad, but we'll see. <clears throat> and we have the Five of Swords. All right. <clears throat> okay, Leo. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. And we have Justice. Okay. Well, this is definitely feeling like a not a new situation. This is definitely feeling like somebody here. Now, I'm going to say, right, this could be an indication new love is coming into your life, but we'll see when we pull more cards. We got the Eight of Cups here and we have the Five of Swords. Okay, so it does feel like, Leo, there could be somebody here where there was some sort of conflict, could be an argument. Maybe you're feeling, you know, could you could be feeling like this is someone who plays games or is playing games with you. So it could be someone new, I'm just going to say here. So there may be an indication here with this Eight of Cups here that maybe some of you are thinking about exploring other possibilities, right? But you feel a very strong uh, chemistry with this person. You have Justice here, Libra Energy. So let's see what's below Justice. We have the Star card here. And yeah, we have the six of wands. So I feel like Leo, there's a situation that you could be dealing with. You're not too sure about this person. You're not too sure if this person is playing games with you, or this could be somebody um, that, you know, played games in the past, all right? Or there was some sort of conflict or argument. Um, Five of swords for me too is my third party card, right? Um, this could also be someone who walked away or you walked away because of a third party. So let's just pull some more energy here and let's see what it shows for you, Leo. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Leo? What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? I feel like, too, this could be someone um, as well for some of you that hasn't been emotionally available to you. Um, and that could be why you're feeling like maybe this person is playing games, right? Um, but let's see here. We got the Emperor, Aries energy. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We have the Seven of Wands. We also have the Death Rebirth card. We have Scorpio energy, and we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we do have the Sun card. All right, 
So seven of wands and the emperor. What I'm really getting here, this may be somebody that you either you're being guided here to set your boundaries with, or maybe this is someone um, that you need to set your boundaries with. This could also be a situation where You could feel like this person, like maybe you're not in control or this person is controlling the situation here. But I feel like this more about you setting your boundaries with this situation, okay? You got the Ace of Cups here. So we're going to clarify and we're going to see what more about what this is here. But I feel like this is about you setting boundaries here, you being in control of the situation. Now, you could be dealing with someone who is a bit rigid, maybe even stubborn here. But let's see what else we have. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Death Rebirth card. Okay, so there is some sort of message here, I feel, that's coming in. Um, we're going to see, or, or this person may be taking a step towards you. You got your energy on the bottom of the deck. Oh, interesting. We got a page of cups here as well. Got three pages here and the ace of wands. I feel like, Leo, there's another upcoming opportunity, okay, besides the person on your mind. So we'll clarify. We're going to see what this is about. So it could be this is someone um, who either walked away or you walked away here, right? And now um, you're going to get a message. So yeah, I do feel like so far there is contact here. Let's see here. We have temperance and we also have the eight of cups. So it does feel like this is someone um, either, you know, they walked away to explore other opportunities or this is someone, like I said earlier, you may have felt that this person has played games with you or there could be a third party situation. But I'm also feeling like some time, there's some time has passed between you and this person. And it may be here too, that this is someone, right, emotionally, this may be someone who is not balanced. Sorry there, my puppy is being a little noisy. <laughs> All right. I'm actually uh, working after dinner, and normally after dinner I sit with her, so she's wondering what's going on. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Why is the Emperor and the Seven of Wands here, please? Why is the Emperor and the Seven of Wands here, please? Okay, we've got the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. We have the Three of Wands, and we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah. So this is, um, I feel like this could be somebody at times who has made you feel stuck. It feels like things are only get to a certain point with this person. And I'm going to say here, Leo, this definitely feels like someone you've spent some time with. It doesn't feel like a brand new person. Okay, take it how it resonates. But you have the um, the chariot here and the three of wands. It feels like there hasn't been a whole lot of movement when it comes to, you know, taking things to the next level. Commitment here. Okay, it feels like the energy here with the eight of swords here. The energy here is stuck. Okay, so I feel like that's too with the seven of wands here is... Um, a challenge, a block here in the situation. So it may be that this is where we're seeing here, like you needing to set your boundaries with this person. Maybe you did already. Okay, so um, let's see why the Page of Pentacles in the Death Rebirth card is here. What can you share with Leo? Justice, Libra Energy, Nine of Cups. Five of Swords. I'm pulling one more here. Seven of Wands. Look at that. Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands. Okay. And the Emperor again. So Libra. I feel like you're going to be happy to hear from this person. And maybe it's because maybe you, you will feel like you're going to get some clarity from this person. But at the same token with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. I feel like you're going to feel conflicted here because I feel like there is something that happened between you and this person 
And I feel like you're not feeling exactly content about it here with that Eight of Wands, which is the Eight of Vessels there. So it's an energy here. I feel like you, like I said, I feel like, you know, I feel like you know deep inside that you need to set boundaries with this person or maybe you already did. Something needs to change here with the death rebirth card. Some of you maybe even be wanting an apology from this person. This could be someone who's a bit immature or maybe they're younger than you, but let's... Um, I feel like, too, like with the message, I feel like you're going to hear from this person, but there's something about the message, the text message. You may be, um, that could be why you're conflicted here, okay? So it may be something in the message that they say that you're not content with, all right? And it makes me think of, in one of my decks, the Page of Pentacles is like you're looking at this pentacle and you're looking at it like that's it. So it may be you get communication from this person and you may have, you know, been thinking, you know, you're going to hear something more and, you, and you, it's like you only get a little tidbit <laughs> is what I get there, okay? But let's see here. Why is Temperance and the Eight of Cups here, please? Why is Temperance and the Eight of Cups here? We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. It feels like you haven't received, you know, it feels like you, you haven't received a whole lot of communication from this person. There's definitely an energy of not feeling content, time passing by. So I feel like, right, and I talked about here, not seeing a whole lot of movement, not seeing things moving to the next level. You got the three of wands here or this person making commitments, or maybe this is someone who broke commitments, broke promises. But what's interesting here is you have temperance and the eight of cups. I see communication coming in. We got the four of cups. Like I said, I feel like you're going to feel... You're not too sure about it, right? There's an energy of not feeling completely content. Now you have the four of wands and the eight of pentacles, okay? I feel like, Leah, with this situation, I feel like you're going to hear from this person, but I also sense here that there's something about the way this person comes back and sends you a message that you're conflicted, okay? You're conflicted about whether this is a situation that could work. Some of you could actually work with this person, but I want to pull some more cards because I just feel like you need some more messages here. What else can you share with Leo about this situation? And then we'll take it to the extended. In the extended, I'll look at the next three to four weeks energy to see where things go. We'll look at what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions. We'll get some love notes and guidance as well. What else can you share with Leo? Okay. Five of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Okay. Some of you, I feel here, this is part of it. You may... Um, be indecisive about this person because you may have an inclination or maybe that is what happened here with the five of swords. I told you the five of swords is my third party situation. You may be feel that there is other people involved or this person is seeing other people. And so I feel like that is part of the reason here. You're not feeling completely content. And so there's something about the message. Maybe it gives you that indication. You've got the seven of pentacles. You have the Queen of Pentacles, and you also have here the Tower. Now, I feel like um, this is something you're thinking about. This is something you're reflecting about, okay? I feel like, too, uh, you know, uh, is this person, you and this person, on the same page? Are they going you know, to fight for you, okay? In a sense that, right, they're going to they're gonna stand up or they're going to make their commitments or their promises. And you've got the Queen of Pentacles here. And I feel like this is about you reflecting. You know your worth. You know you are valuable. You know you are a good catch here. And the Tower here. There's something here that I feel is going to happen that you're not expecting. But it also can be what happened here in the past. Okay, because something wasn't working in the past. And you're not sure, I feel, if things have changed. 
I'm going to pull three more cards. We have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, weigh in your options. Ten of Wands. There's something here I feel like, you know, maybe in the past you felt like you gave a whole lot to this connection, but you didn't get anywhere, right? You're not too sure if you could see if things are going to work or not. And we also have here the Star card. And we have, okay, the Knight of Swords. Well, there's something about this person. Look at that. Knight of Swords and the Lovers here. Okay, again, telling me this person is coming towards you. You know, I feel like um, what holds this together for you is that you do feel that very strong chemistry with this person. And... I almost feel like you're not too sure, right, if things are going to be balanced with this person. If you're going to really see the effort from this person, some of you it could be around healing. Maybe you're not too sure if things are going to work with this person. You also have Gemini energy. Well, this person, I feel they are coming towards you. Some of you may even, I, may, I don't know if I said this or not, some of you may even want an apology from this person, but... I just feel like almost too, you don't know if you can trust this person. That's what I'm getting here. I get a very unbalanced energy with you and this person right now. So I'm going to take it to the extent and we're going to see how things play out. I hope to see you there, Leo. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel of love.